if you bash Muslims and Islam, then this is the freedom of speech. But if you bash any other minority group, then that's a hate speech. Dr. Nabil uh, Blayakli, a Muslim and professor at Lemoyne Owen College and the University of Memphis, says the Memphis plane incident and the Juan Williams comments are just the latest examples of Islamophobia. It's just people are ignorant. Uh, people don't know what Islam and what Muslims is about. But Faye Barinsky, who was traveling through Memphis Tuesday, says she can understand the concern people had on the Delta flight that was grounded. Would you get nervous when you're on a plane and see people dressed in, in traditional Muslim clothing? Is that something that makes you nervous? nervous? Um, not just the clothing, it's more the behavior. So if somebody's acting suspiciously, that makes me nervous regardless of how they're dressed. If they're acting suspiciously and they're dressed in that particular type of clothing, that makes me very nervous. Really? Why? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I guess because of everything that we've heard. Mm -hmm. It's exactly why. Like 9-11? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, do you think that's fair to the Muslim community? Because they would say it's not. I would agree with them. No, it's not fair. So do you think that would have happened today had it been, you know, you or I in the bathroom for a really long time? Probably not. Dr. Blayakli says he travels a lot both in the U.S. and internationally. He wears what he was wearing during the interview. I get all kind of looks, you know, the good looks and also the bad looks. And in general, I always try to uh, counter the, the Islamophobic uh, kind of gestures that I see with a smile. And I approach the individual and I say, what do you want to know about Islam? What do you want to know about my religion? And what kind of effect does that have on people? Uh, most everybody gets shocked. First of all, they didn't expect me to speak English. Uh, second is that, you know, when they realize and they see that I am i didn't get offended by their gesture, I understand why they're doing whatever they're doing, and then I explain to them really what Islam, what the tenets of Islam was, the tenets of faith. Uh, then a lot of them, they say, we, we thank you, we appreciate what you're doing. Dr. Blayakli says every group of minorities living in the U.S. has gone through some sort of tribulation. He says education is key. And I have absolutely nothing against Muslim people in general. I, I just think that we all have to understand that we need to be safe when we're traveling. Do you think this will eventually pass? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, we're just going through this, and uh, we just have to endure, persevere, stick to our culture, stick to our uh, faith and our tradition. Jill Monnier, Fox 13 News.